Hello and welcome back everyone. Anthwolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic playing as Cursed the Sith Warrior. And where we last left off, we were speaking to our companions, getting to know them a bit more. And we went to gain a signal emitter that would allow us to pass, to pass a Imperial blockade on the world on the way to Corellia. Unfortunately, that was all a ruse by Quinn here, who has secretly been working for Darth Barris all this time, and he had calculated his chances of victory and actually getting us killed. Lovely. He's still alive. Barely. And he promises to serve us faithfully from now on. Whether or not that's true or not, I guess we'll find out together. But we're now on our way to Corellia. Which is in the air, uh, Corward Worlds. One of the founding worlds of the Galactic Republic, Corellia nonetheless prides itself on its independence. Some of the finest starships in the galaxy are made on Corellia, along with their daring pirates. Pirates? Pilots! <laughs> Men and women looking to explore, to trade, or just stay ahead of the law. Oh well, pirates was appropriate, I guess. The cities, like the people, are distinctly Corellian, incorporating the natural landscape into their design, despite a heavy manufacturing base. The Corellian government recently agreed to turn over power to the Sith Empire. This has resulted in riots in the streets, an open revolution despite imperial claims of legitimacy, and the capital of Coronet City has become a battlefield. Once again, we will um, encounter players of the Republic here, on Corellia. The Corellian government, the councilmen in charge, have surrendered uh, unanimously, in fact, to the Empire. And the Empire has dug a quite a powerful air force here to hold the world from the Republic as the war is escalating. There are difficulties. Um, there are impediments in the way of a total victory here and we will be assisting in the imperial efforts to secure the world in its entirety but at the same time we are here to protect Darth Vauron or the Dark Council from assassins sent by Darth Barris our former master but uh, let's be on our way I have landed on Corellia. The ledge is near. Roth, you are there to protect Darth Thauron from Barriss's threats. Our efforts to locate his secret headquarters are ongoing. Another digit of the hand will tap the Roth. Meanwhile, we are tracking three assassins arriving on secret landing fields. It will be difficult to stop them all. Leave that to me. Transmitting the coordinates for all three landing strips. Received, my lord. These killers are but the first. There will be more. Varon actively defies Barris. If he dies, Barris will be named the voice of the Emperor. Protect Darth Varon at all costs and aid in his attempts to undermine our enemy. Goodbye. My lord, I'm detecting a forced transmission. I assume you still recognize me. Consider yourself fortunate that I am reaching out like this. My old master, you have some nerve showing your face. I believe you have the market on nerve cornered, my friend. I'm here to tell you that you are being deceived. The organization you work for is not the Emperor's hand. You're the deceiver, Barris. I don't blame you for doubting me, and I will not apologize for my actions. I am the voice of the Emperor, and there is a reason for all we do. In the end, what you think does not matter. So believe what you will, but your handlers have you in over your head, sticking your wet nose in Darth business. I've gotten under your skin, haven't I? 
Your lack of sight is almost laughable. Walk away now, and perhaps our previous animosities can be swept aside. The nerve. He's gonna forgive you. He can do what he wants. I'll never let go of my anger. No more talk. Barris's assassins must be stopped. No. Yeah, the gold actually communicate with us. We must really get him am um, get him uncomfortable with our constant survival. Even Quinn failed, and he was the closest to us. I mean, Quinn, really, if you think about it, for the good of the Empire, he's had the control and maintenance of the ship. He could have quite easily blew up the Fury. It would have, it would have cost him his life, but for the good of the Empire, as he always claims, would that have been a small price to pay? Hmm, I think it would have been. But he, yeah, that was his mistake in trying to kill us personally, I guess. Here on Corellia, there are two dedicated spaceports. One, I'm trying to think of where they are. One, of course, is for the Empire, one is for the Republic. We are in the Incorporation Islands, which, as it may sound, is an island part of Coronet City, which is in a majority made up of the various major corporations that have stock here, such as Zerka Corporation, for example. I think the Republic's starport is in the Blastfield shipyards. And there is a curious method of transportation here on Corellia, which we'll be making use of. Unfortunately, um, getting it operational is going to be one of our first tasks. Okay. Who are we going to take? Quinn? No. Pierce may be injured. Jaser? Uh, probably Jaser. I'm ready. I wish we could have um, called Darth Barris out on his claim to the voice of the Emperor. After all, it wouldn't be a deceit to say to his face that we've actually encountered a real voice and spoke to the Emperor personally. Can Doris... Barris has claimed to have spoken to the Emperor before, hasn't he? Early on when we were on Korriban, I think he said he was going to report to the Emperor that he had taken us as an apprentice because one of the dialogue options was to tell or ask him to tell the Emperor we said hello. Very um, patriotic imperial statues and flags flying. Since we've taken control of Corellia so quickly the decorators did a very fast job in painting the spaceport in our colours, didn't they? And this is the beginning of the story arc here on Corellia. The pleasure of your arrival was expected, my lord. Welcome to Corellia. I am Lord Ferris, here to make a request on behalf of my master. Darth Decimus of the Dark Council has taken interest in your actions and desires your assistance in the battle for Corellia. I don't help any Dark Council member who's a friend of Darth Barris. Barris is no friend. My master sought you for a reason. Our invasion of Corellia was executed to perfection. But the ensuing occupation has met... difficulties. Darth Decimus believes you can help. If you're interested, seek out his servant, Darth Charnas. He will set you on the path of conquering Corellia. Who is Darth Charnas? the Imperial Authority on Incorporation Island. For now, he is the closest you'll get to Darth Decimus. 
Darth Charnas's ship, the Tears of Taris, is on Corellia now. A private shuttle outside the spaceport will take you there. And he's not joking. Uh, Darth Charnas, I think, has landed, I think, a dreadnought here on Corellia. Of course, Corellia does have huge space yards, so landing a dreadnought doesn't sound like such an impossible feat. As long as it wasn't there, uh, destroyed with the gravity well. So yeah, Darth Decimus. We will learn about him. There will be a codex entry for him. But he is, I'm sure, a member of the Dark Council. Very similar to uh, Darth Vengeon, actually. They could probably be brothers, and if they were brothers, well, we'd be in trouble. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, he is in charge of maintaining the war and subjugating Corellia. Just gonna make sure that this quick travel node is unlocked. I think it is, but you never be too sure. Hmm. We almost have double this uh, sorcerer's health. We are ah oh we are level sync to level fifty two. That would that would make sense then. Our stats have jumped up significantly because at level fifty there would have been a major um, increase in what stats are available to you. But here is a uh, Darth Charnas. Coronet City, the jewel of Corellia, home to the finest trading and ship manufacturing in Republic space. Soon this will all belong to the Empire, and the rest of the galaxy will follow. Where are my manners? I am Darth Charnas, agent of the Dark Council. My master, Darth Decimus, Requested your assistance. He says only the most powerful Sith can help us win Corellia. What's the situation here? This planet was ripe for conquering. Darth Decimus plotted our assault and we moved in. The invasion was magnificent. Our occupation flawless. Imperial forces fill Corellia's high speed rocket trams. We began to cover Coronet City. Then rebellion erupted. Unruly Corellians knocked out the rocket trams. Now our soldiers are stranded. Why do we hesitate? We're preparing to strike the rebels responsible for these heinous assaults. The guilty party is Corellian Engineering Corporation, the oldest ship manufacturer in Republic history. CEC exploited our one weakness. They turned our iron cannons on all outgoing trams, freezing our invasion, trapping us on the doorstep of the Empire's greatest battle. Destroy all guns firing on the rocket trams. Problem solved. We've tried, but their emplacements are heavily shielded and must be shut down from inside CEC. There's only one way to breach their walls. The Hullcracker. A compact bomb developed by Zerka Corellia's deviant scientist to punch holes through capital ships. It will get us inside CEC. Then we disable their iron cannons, resume rocket tram traffic, and conquer Corellia. Unfortunately, Zerkas joined the rebellion, and they refused to hand over their hullcracker. Zerka will cooperate with the Empire, or be destroyed. The hullcracker's under constant guard destroyed Zekka's assault camps, and they'll abandon the weapon to reinforce their headquarters. Once you rout the camps, find our commander Jastel in Zekka territory, then we'll liberate that hull tracker. Okay. So we have Codex Entry for Darth Charnis. Decimus is the really, the one we are truly interested in. Let's get ourselves back over to Coronet Spaceport, and then we'll have a look at the Corellian map. So we'll probably pick up a few side missions while we're here. We'll see what missions are available.
I see, even though the assassins are due to land on Corellia soon if they haven't already arrived. They will um, have to wait. We'll uh, deal with the rocket trams first of all. I want you to know, my lord, I did everything I could. Darth Decimus doesn't reward good intentions. Coronet Durasteel practically rolled out the red carpet for the Empire. It's those other companies. Zerka Corellia, CEC, Star Drive. Greedy scum, all of them. Too stupid to see the benefits of Imperial oversight. Grovel some more. I'm enjoying this. I haven't heard of Star Drive. That must be another corporation that's causing um, a bit of bother here. So yeah, the rocket trams is the transportation method here on Corellia if you want to use the transport service droids. Now. So exhilarating. There shouldn't be any Republic players here in Incorporation Islands, but for the purposes of this LP and for a bit of fun, let's go to the PvP instance. Now, I don't think we can engage other Sith in PvP, other players of the Empire, so we should be, um, it should be only the other faction who are our opponents. But it might be interesting. This also could go horribly wrong. Yeah, there's only three of us here in um on Corellia in the PvP instance. Another juggernaut and a power tech. <laughs> the others are an instance one. And these are all, of course, Imperials. We don't know how many uh Republic players are here. But, so there's not much chance we'll encounter another Republic player, but you never know. We have our heroic mission terminal here. But it is a side mission, an exploration mission, and heroic mission all nearby. So we need to assault two circa bunkers. Well, emplacements to draw their attention. But let's see what other missions are available. Shouldn't this be your responsibility? Excuse me, you... You're a nobody seeking to give me orders. I'm sorry, but, um... I seem to have misplaced your message. I think the transmission was, um, getting a bit of static there, was interrupted. What a shame. Hey, I'm not some greenhorn. They ambushed us, and they did a blasted good job of it. I don't pay on failed contracts, Randon. Keep pressing me and I'll get moody. Got it? I'm sorry you had to witness that, my lord. A kill operation of mine just got heroically botched. And now the Empire's paying the price. Who do you need to eliminate? The targets are a group of rebel Corellian officers. They already bombed Incorporation Spaceport and destroyed a squadron of Imperial transports. Hey, I did my best to stop that. These guys are elite Corsac. They chewed up my whole squad. Translation, he failed. Now I hear they're rigging a bunch of speeders with explosives for another bombing. Any idea about their target? None. And we can't wait for details. They've got enough explosives in those speeders to make the spaceport bombing look like child's play. I can mobilize a new team in two hours. Platoon strength. Hardcore guys. 
You had your chance. If you'd do me the favor of terminating these rebels and blowing the speeders at their camp, that would be just lovely. This is a trifling matter, but I will do it. Your confidence warms my heart. Hey, business is business. One professional to another, don't get cocky. You're a Mandalorian, we will force choke you, and you will die. Um, where do we... oh, okay. So, heroic explosive assault. I think I've done this before, actually. I remember this back in the day. Maybe as my bounty hunter. Corsac, we'll probably learn, our Corellian security. They have, um... Chosen not to side with the Empire when the takeover occurred. Is there some problem here? Make an example of your strongest workers, and they'll obey once more. Motame Scochaya Kokuchu. Chingwanga la hagua chikuska and pasa dobiska. Do the omishka kaba no tesma wetia? It'll be done before you know it. Lima futo bonki chuta. But wanna uba kili wata bonki danko padoga lola. Okay, so we have to deal with some workers as well. Cool, okay, that's easy enough. So, what should, what order should we do? Actually, we'll, um, trying to think of what's the best way to do this. Let's do the heroic mission first. We will split up, split up the time here on Incorporation Islands. We won't do it all at once. Actually, our time here on the islands is quite long. Getting the hull cracker and then getting into CEC eh, takes up quite a bit of time. See, I don't think there are any Republic forces here that could ambush us while we're doing our missions, but there might be, so let's just play it a little bit safe. Our biggest threat will be Jedi Shadows and Scoundrels, as they could cloak right on top of us. Ideally, once we get into the later areas of Corellia, we'll switch uh, Jacer over to healing. Because then it'll be much harder for someone to jump on us, because then they would really have to kill Jacer before they could deal with us. But if we're stuck in combat, you can't change their role. That's the problem. Where are 
are these Corsex speeders. There's four of them we need to destroy. Oh, hello. Perfect. Uh, Jason, can you get up here? There you go, good. Told me what happened to those officers and their speeders. Done like a true virtuoso. Excellent. Okay. Task here is done. Well, we are the only Imperial now in the PvP instance. It is um quite late in the evening. So yeah, chances are slim that we'll encounter some Republic forces later on. It depends how long I keep this session going as well. I've got a few things to do tomorrow, unfortunately, early in the morning, so I can't be recording too late. But we'll see. See how tired I am, see how motivated I am. It would be nice to maybe complete our time here. On Corellia. So we need to go deal with 14 circuit forces and destroy some of their weapon containers. That's our next uh, task. Okay, and hopefully that will now cause Circa to pull some of their troops away from where the hull cracker is located. So I'll enjoy a bit of the air, uh, a bit of the scenery here. I like the look of Corelli. It's very, it's a very industrialized world, but at the same time they've kept some of like. The natural, the natural beauty of it as well, much like uh, Alderaan. These are the rebel workers who are demanding that the company sever Imperial ties. Pretty straightforward. Let's we'll go through this small little checkpoint area and speak to Commander Jastel. 
see if he and his troopers can recover the Hullcracker explosive. Yeah, we haven't really had much of a chance to look around. I think, as a member of the Republic, if you're looking around the Blastfield shipyards, which is where their spaceport is, it's literally a shipyard. You can look around and kind of identify, like, Republic cruisers and transport ships that are either docked or partially under construction. Ah, Commander Jastel is a member of the Imperial Guard. Circus camps are destroyed. How do we get the Hullcracker? I'll connect you to Darth Charnas at once. My ship afforded a spectacular view of your work. Zarka's forces swarm like confused insects. They've regrouped to defend the Hive, leaving the Hullcracker storage facility vulnerable. Zarka is ruled by fear. Soon their explosive will be ours. Captain Jastel's team is in place, ready to grab the Hullcracker. You will lead a more direct attack. Your target is Bral Tavar. He's Zerka Corellia's figurehead, the definition of corporate sleaze. Bral Tavar has the Hullcracker's detonation codes. Without them, the bomb's useless. Break into his executive offices, get the detonation codes, then call me. My men will already have the Hullcracker. Tell your men to be ready for the final assault, Commander. I'll deal with Bral Tavar at once. We'll have the Hullcracker by the time you have those codes. Okay. So, we'll, um... Go gain the codes to detonate the Hullcracker. And that'll probably be the last thing we do. Circa Island. Of course, they have their own island here in Corellia. is just down here. Across this little uh, bridge section. And they're willing to put up a fight. Now, is there a bonus mission? The there is, and it's a staged bonus mission as well. Very well. And what is stage two? Destroy artillery controls. What good's artillery if no one's manning them? Law object there. Gain the ion round. Oh, is that it over there? It is, yeah, the weapon's great. See, so that stirred a memory. And then we need to use it on this device, I think. Okay. 
Yeah, destroy the communications tower. Someone's actually up there. Oh, hello. You oh, and a security chest as well. So we need to turn in the security manifest, but that's fine. All right, let's go into Circus headquarters. So we need to find this security head, Bral Tavar. Well, not so much a security head, but the. The head of the corporation's branch here on Corellia. Colto tanks? I don't know. They're bound to be something unsavory. It is Circuit Corporation after all. They're not really known for their um, ethics, shall we say? I assure you, gentlemen, Corellian Engineering Corp has nothing to fear. The C9X droid will serve you well. Just keep your home cracker out of Imperial hands. We hear they've already breached your walls. A mild annoyance. Even if the Empire grabs our weapon, it's useless without the proper codes. Tell CEC's board I have the situation under control. Give me the detonation codes or I'll crush your precious company. Hold strong, Brawl. Better to die free than live under the Empire's fist. Speak for yourself. Here, take the home cracker's detonation codes. Just, please. Don't hurt me. Circus finished, and CEC's next. Commander, Ral Tavar is dead. The detonation codes are secure. Good work. Thanks to your earlier assault, my men secured the Hullcracker and prepped it for the blast. In the meantime, Darth Charnas wants to speak with you aboard the Tears of Taris. He's ready to assault CEC. Excellent. Okay, where do we need to go? Hmm, okay. Pretty straightforward. Let's get back to Coronet Spaceport, turn in these two missions, and then back to the Tears of Taris. Your workers, their revolt should quiet down. Tuto uya hawan chuchi kuspa. Nira disa slimo crispa, todanki kung kre kupa. Ah, 
and ah, this is the tram station. I guess that's where we're turning in the security manifest. I thought we were secure, maybe handing it in. Ah, another hero commission. I thought we might have been. <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. Might have been handing it in at the spaceport there, but never mind. The rocket tram is useless if it can't run on schedule, sir. I've got a platoon of combat staff grunts due in Axial Park days ago. What am I supposed to do with them now? Calisthenics. Don't get smart with me. No rocket tram system. Awesome. Okay, so quick travel. The Tears of Taris. Let's go report our success with Circa. Then we can plan the assault on CEC. Here are the detonation codes. Baral Tevar was eager to hand them over. I'm sure he was. Thanks to you, the Zerka Karelia Hullcracker is ours. These codes will awaken its power. Commander Jastel briefed me on your handling of the Brawl Tevar situation. His untimely end certainly broke Zerka's resistance. Brawl Tevar's punishment will scare every rebel on Karelia. If you want to really break the rebel spirits, help me close Karelian Engineering Corporation. With the Hullcracker in our possession, we can finally shut down CEC and end their attacks on our rocket trams. But first, we must deal with their army. Legions of battle droids defend the CEC fortress. Our explosives team can't get close enough to detonate the Hullcracker. CEC commands them somehow. Cut the droids off, and they lose control. You're right. CEC uses signal towers to direct their army. It's their only weak point. Bringing down the signal towers will disrupt the droids. Our explosives team sneaks in, detonates the hull cracker, and blows the CEC doors wide open. CEC is about to lose contact with their army. Once you remove the signal towers, contact Commander Craig in CEC territory. He'll prepare you for our final assault. Mm, sounds like a plan. Uh, these aren't really worthwhile. Okay. So, we'll end this video here. Yeah, let's park ourselves here. Why? Actually, we'll park ourselves outside of... Do, 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 outside of this spaceport. Have a, have a nice scenic view to end the video. See, when we come back, we will go deal with Corellian Engineering Corporation. And then, with that dealt with, the rocket tram system will be safe to use once again. And we can have the Imperial forces reinforce areas that need it. And we can head anywhere we need to once we've dealt with Valron's assassins. But that's all for next time. This, of course, has been Anne Wolf playing Star Wars The Old Republic. I hope you've all enjoyed, and I hope you all take care. And I'll see you for even more in the next video. Until then, though, bye-bye now.